All right, everybody. Uh, I'm very used to playing second fiddle. I've just dropped precipitously to a very distant third fiddle in this interview. A couple of gorgeous, <laughs> really tall girls. I know. Uh, Somebody who can, uh, I can look eye to eye to. Of course, the one and only Shannon Tweed is Hi, joining Shannon. us right now. Did, did you want to borrow my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> look at them. I just want to come on. over. Those are sexy, <laughs> mama. Oh. Uh, how much do you enjoy shopping, Shannon, I, by the way? Uh, quite a bit. Why do you say that? Why, do, why, why would you bring is that Is it the up? studded skirt? Well, it's a little bit of everything. The high heel? Well, one of my favorite parts of the show is actually when you go on little shopping trips and yeah. it just, but it is, it's fun, it's like retail it. therapy, it's good Although times. Although I don't really dress up on the show because it's it's a reality show and I, I just don't agree with all the makeup and wardrobe and hair. Yeah, yeah. It's not really realistic. Keeping it real. I, I try to. Uh, more house coats like jean wear, so that would be really, <laughs> that would be really no, nice. No, but I'm really, I'm, I'm pretty much Gap all the time. <laughs> yeah, how long have you guys you been are. doing the reality show for now? Too long. Too long. Yes, yes, yes. And how have your kids stayed <sighs> so normal? Yeah, Be because we see people in Hollywood, they rock stars' kids that way. going out sideways, but your kids have managed to maintain uh, normalcy. How do you do it? They're smart. I don't know. So they just came out that way. Uh, we started, my daughter was 13, and that's a pretty vulnerable sort of age, yep. too. You know, she's 19 so now, so she yeah. grew up on. Yeah. TV and I really didn't free up her weekends at all. I, I, I really ruined her social life. I really did. Well, you guys, I mean, you've talked about it before, but like keeping your kids busy uh, yes. is a really um, good parenting there's, strategy. There's something to be said for over scheduling, but I think I scheduled enough so that they're, you know, ha they learned how to play piano and read yeah. music and learn a language and the, 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 the. and so, stay but, in but, school. But sec secretly, it was just to keep them off, <laughs> off the streets, you know. Have you been doing this long enough to to get perspective on how you feel about this whole experience and and sort of gather your thoughts on it, or is it just sort of ongoing for you? Oh, uh, you know, I really didn't think it would go anywhere. I thought it would be, you know, a couple of shows, a little experimental thing, and uh, we'd be done. No one yeah. would watch. Yeah. Be out. I was retired. I was taking care of my kids, yeah. president of the PTA, doing my thing, lunch lady, you know, <laughs> like a normal person. And then all of a sudden, oh, we're going to order 15 more shows. We're going we're gonna to go for another season. We're yeah. going to, like, no, wait, no, what? Yeah. My garage is now a production studio. Yeah. Where's the car going to be? <laughs> you know, it's a, There's it's all these people around all the time. Yeah, it, it was a lot. It's a lot. But it sort of grew slowly and just sort of keeps continuing and adding on and adding on. Are you at the point now that you actually do forget that the cameras are there? You never do. Yeah. I can honestly say you never do. It's not like they're attached to the wall and they're shooting us 24-7, in which yeah. case you would forget sometimes. Yeah. But we, we schedule our shoots so that we're on, you know, say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and no point in shooting some other days when we're doing nothing yeah. or the kids yeah. are not home because yeah, they're not going to use it. Yeah. They're not going to use it. I mean, we're all sitting around watching TV half the time anyway. We're not shooting that because nobody cares. <laughs> there was the morning show that you guys was had the, the spat, but yes. obviously things are okay because you and the family are going to be on stage tonight oh. here at the River Rock. You called it a spat. Was it a spat? What would you call it? I would call it a serious. Uh, misjudgment on someone's part that we have not worked out yet. Really? Yes. yes. Uh, so how do you how do you how do you, you handle tell me events? as a man? <laughs> well, well, you tell no, me. no, 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 no. Let's gang up. You on might want to walk away don't right now. Don't put me on Team Gene. You, I don't want to be on that. You team. might tell me as a man what you would be doing at this point if you were here. Uh, how do you handle stuff like this? I mean, you guys are doing a live theater show tonight, well, and uh, you're opening up to questions. As a matter so. of fact, this um, show was booked before the alleged spat. <laughs> the, spat. the spat. Why are you make it sound so lighthearted? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't that light. Um, yeah. Well, we're here, and um, since it's on uh, TV anyway. Yeah. And it was booked before, but what was the concept behind putting the family on stage? The concept stage? behind this was um, just meeting the fans. But Gene also does. Um, a uh, speaking engagement tour yeah. where he does speaking engagements and this particular one asked if the if the family would like to join him on stage because the the, the fans that are here wanted to ask the family some questions as well as him so yeah. Um, what an interesting okay. idea, though. I mean, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> no, brave, right? I mean, you guys are brave anyway, but I this know. is like next level. Yeah. So New territory. Taking it. Uh, how do I you... don't know what's going to happen. We have never done one. Yeah. So it's our first one. We'll see what happens. I'm How do the kids feel about it, going in front of an audience and taking the questions? Uh, they don't know yet either, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Are it's we going to see a proposal this know. season? I don't uh, know. Come on. I've seen a season promo. There was some season. sort of thing they on it. They probably just fell down. You think? 
<laughs> Did he fold down the giant diamond in his hand? Because he should. I don't know, but it might have been bigger. Now, there's big news about Grey Cup, too, before we move to football. Yes. Uh, what are you doing with Grey Cup? Uh, one of the great, is it great big Canadians? The or great Canadians. Big, oh, great. <laughs> Good, thank you. I have the excuse to look now. <laughs> awesome. <high> level. <laughs> um, so, we're, uh, uh, I think we're doing that. I don't know what we're doing. It's part of a parade, I think, yes, the whole thing, and, and you sort of represent part of Canada. Very, which is, uh, very and, fun. And you've been sort of doing very like fun. a whole Shannon Tweed so, Canadian I tour. I know I had little stuff going. I have a street name after me. It's, it's so crazy. Exciting. I know. It was so, I mean, Newfoundland, and, and that I know, was. It either means you're about to die or you're old enough to get one. I don't Where know. did you get the street? In Newfoundland in or in Saskatchewan? Saskatoon. Saskatoon. And it's right near where my mom lives. Oh, that's so, so sweet. It's, I know it's little Shannon Tweed Lane. Thank you. So How does the family feel about Shannon Tweed Lane? Oh, do they drive up and down? House on it. Do they do donuts on the street or what? <laughs> go and tag know. it a little bit. They're gonna go buy a house on it. But it's got to be kind of fun. I mean, you know, going home and and sort of experiencing yeah, that again nice. and, and some of the things that you remember. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice to. Yeah. And have the kids seen much of those areas of Canada <laughs> yeah, they before? Have, they have. So yes. they've My experienced mom, so, Saskatoon before. So uh, where you were born, it's uh, it's small. Really small. <laughs> yep. What did they do in Saskatoon? And, you know what? So, they... Sophie loves all these all these small places, and uh, but the, the thing is, you do the same things that you do in big places. Right. You sit around, watch TV, you talk to your friends on Facebook, yeah. and, and you go to movies and you go to eat. You yeah. can do that everywhere. It's, it's so true. funny because why do you need a big city? Yeah, why do you need a big city around you to do the same things you do everywhere else? And do you and the family get a chance to have some downtime to chill out and, and just not have anything That's why I go around? to Whistler. Okay. I do. I go there, I stare out the window, and I read books, and that's what I do there. I like you. Oh, cool. A lot. I just thought I'd throw that out there at the end of the interview, Shannon. Thank you for taking Thank the time. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it.